I just want to walk you through one of uh, my very favorite web resources. Um, before I do that, uh, a big thanks to Dr. Jonathan Rognes, Rognes, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. Uh, he's the one who created all this stuff. It was featured in uh, Journal of Online Mathematics way back in 2005, and it's still an amazing, amazing resource. Uh, it's the Interactive Gallery of Quadratic Surfaces. Uh, if you're teaching Calc 3, you know there's a whole bunch of these things, and they have very similar looking forms, um, but he illustrates them great, and he talks, why, talks about why examining the cross-sections is so important. So you've got this uh, lovely menu on the left, and as you click through it, uh, hover over it, you see the different shapes. Um, it's very, very easy to use. Um, you basically just rotate, uh, click and drag, click and drag to change radius, say, and then you can drag these little blue sliders and see the different cross sections. So let's have a look at a couple of the, the different shapes, starting with uh, elliptic paraboloid. Okay, And we have this view here. Um, we've got the equation up at the top. A and B have the same sides. He gives a little bit of information about them. Um, and here's where the cross section thing really, really comes into play. When you say, imagine that you hold x and y constant and you only vary z. You know, you can do that on, on paper or on the screen or whatever, but, but this really drives the point home because I'm only changing z. And you can see that that circle uh, gets smaller and smaller until it goes to a point. And then it gets larger and larger as I move z upward. Similarly, I can hold y and z constant and change x, and that gives me a parabola that opens upward. And you can see that parabola being uh, traced as I drag this. And similarly, we can hold z and x constant, and that will change y, and it will give us a parabola there. And then we can do the same thing if we want uh, our domain, instead of being a square, to be a disk. Uh, same idea, same cross-sections doesn't really change the cross sections, but it really drives home that, that point. You can rotate this and zoom it. Uh, you can also get another view of what happens if you change the constants a and b. So if we let a get very small, uh, it turns into uh, just a parabola. Uh, if you let a oops, get very large, you know it stretches it vertically. You can do the same thing for b. And then you can rotate and zoom and do all that uh, wonderful stuff with it. Um, let's look at, say, uh, hyperbolic paraboloid. That's an interesting one. Again, we want to hold z and y constant. Dragging x, we have a parabola that opens downward. If we want to hold uh, z and x constant and change y, we have a parabola that opens upward. And if we hold y and x constant and vary z, we have a hyperbola. There it is. Very nice. And we can do the same thing with uh, changing the constants a and b, and you can see how that uh, changes um, the shape of the graph. And you can do that for all the other ones too. I mean, you can do all sorts of um, all sorts of manipulations. But I think this is just a brilliant tool, a fantastic tool, and it really drives home the point of learning this method of cross sections. Uh, if you're teaching Calc three and you, you're you're going through this unit, this is I think a fantastic uh, fantastic resource. Also, of course, if you're taking it. Um, it's a very good resource to explore and play with. All right, hope you're having a great day.